Huh. It's been some time since I've visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. Too much love of money and ownership. Not enough love of God and giving. But I have always seen these places from the outside. Any society that derives its power and authority from the will of man alone lives apart from God and will crumble in the end. This way lies the path to hell. Of course, love the sinner, hate the sin. <laughs> You're not so certain. Fair enough. We all have doubts. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. But you can be a Thomas for now, and you'll see the truth. There is much to be skeptical of in this world, so it no longer surprises me to learn how many people don't really believe in anything. But I believe that our Lord was made flesh as Jesus Christ and died to redeem me. And you. Everyone. I know it may be hard for you to accept or even to understand. In my heart, I believe that though I am a sinner, I have been saved. And I believe there is something beyond this rock, and this air, and this water around us. Something more that is waiting for us. You can rationalize if you'd like. I understand. The good Lord knows I've tried. Whether there is a God or not, His existence doesn't depend on what you believe or what I say. The light of the mind alone cannot dispel the whole world's darkness. The choice is yours, of course. We all go through periods of darkness. For many of us, the road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. Think on it and look in your heart. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor His laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. But this is the waking world in which we live. There is no need to cry. No need to dream. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor His laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. I will carry the fire of the Holy Spirit inside until I stand before my Lord for judgment. I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. But the flame burned on and on. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love.
I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them. But I must try. Thank you for staying with me. Tomorrow will be here soon, and there is still much work to be done. God be with you.